Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given me the opportunity to take this class. I am Muhammad Abul Kashim, Senior Lecturer, Department of Islamic Studies, Maliston College, Dhaka. My dear students, in our today's class, I will discuss some important topic from akhlaq e hamida it's chapter 4 lesson 1 to 6 i will discuss from this lesson i've written some questions the first question what is akhlaq e hamida the word akhlaq means nature character behavior etc and hamida means good novel admirable etc so, Akhlaq Hamida means novel character or good character or admirable character. <clears throat> According to Islamic parlance, the character, those character which are admirable and lovable to Allah and His Rasul as well as accepted to our society is called Akhlaq Hamida. Dear students, you know there have another names of Akhlaq Hamida. These are akhlaq hasana or husnul khuluq. Now, the importance of akhlaq hamida. Dear students, as these questions come as C or D type question, I will give you some points from this part. Importance of akhlaq hamida. The first point, favorite to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means a man of akhlaq hamida or good character is the favorite person of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, to be one, if we want to be the favorite person of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to hold the good character or all kinds of akhlaq e hamida. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this regard, more favorite to Allah is the person who is most ex excellent in terms of good character. Another point, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was the perfect person of good character. Even in a hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, Boys to liutam mima makarim al akhlaq. I have been sent to bring the perfection into good character. So, as we are the follower of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa we will hold all types of good character to be the true follower of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Another point, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, another point, good character will make the balance or mizan heavier. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says in a hadith, certainly on the day of Qiyamah, no other thing will make the balance or mizan heavier than good character. So, to make our balance heavier, we will uh, hold all types of good character. And another point, Rasulullah sallam says, the best mumin among you are those who are best in terms of their nature or character. So by all this ayat and hadith, it's clear to us that Akhlaq Hamida is admirable, is appreciable in Al-Quran and Al-Hadith in Islam, in the life of a mumin, it is important. Now the next question, explain taqwa and its importance. The word Taqwa means to abstain, to live, to fear, to protect. In the practical sense, Taqwa means fear of Allah. And in the Islamic terminology, leading life by saving oneself from all kinds of sinful activities in pursuance of the directions of Al-Quran and Sunnah is called Taqwa. <coughs> the person who adopts Taqwa is called Muttaqi. Now, the importance of Taqwa. Taqwa is very much important in the life of a mumin or Muslim. I have written some points here. The first point, Taqwa is the root of all noble qualities. Because if we have taq that means because if we have taqwa, this taqwa will lead us, will help us, will inspire us to do all the noble qualities, noble activities, virtuous activities perfectly. So taqwa is considered as the foundation of all the noble qualities and another point 
the most honored person to Allah. According to the verse of Al-Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in the, in the law, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna akramakum inda Allah yatqaakum. The most honored among you are those who are men of taqwa. <coughs> Allah loves the muttaqis. Next point, Allah loves the muttaqis. Allah says, Inna Allah yuhibbul muttaqi. Certainly, Allah loves the muttaqis. And the next point, the muttaqis will be the successful. In another ayat of Al-Quran, Allah says, Inna lil muttaqina mafaza. Surely the muttaqis will be the successful. Now, the next question, what is keeping from is? Explain. The word keeping from is, its Arabic, Arabic word is al-ahdu. <coughs> al-ahdu is the Arabic word of keeping from is. Wada, it is also Arabic word of keeping from is. The word keeping from is means undertaken, place, agreement, etc. So, in the Islamic terminology, Wada means to fulfill a promise or place already agreed upon. That means when we will give any word or any wada to another person, it is to be performed exactly and accurately. It is called keeping promise. <clears throat> now the importance of keeping promise. Maintaining promise, it is an important virtue of a mumin or Muslim. So as a mumin, we have to maintain or keep our promise. The points from this part, <coughs> first point, command of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us or ordered us to maintain promise. Allah says in Al-Quran, That means, O believer, you fulfill your promise, you keep your promise. So as Allah's order, we must to maintain promise. Another point, we cannot be a perfect mumin without maintaining our promise. Because in a hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, La imana liman la ahdalahu. The person who has no wada, who does not maintain wada, he has no iman. So, if we don't maintain our promise, we will not be the true imandar or real mumin. In another hadith, it is said, there are three symbols of munafik. They, one of them are, they breaks promise. So, if we break promise, that is, if we don't maintain promise, definitely we will be the munafik. So, we will not break our promise. Now, the next question. Explain the importance of truthfulness. At first, we will learn what is truthfulness. Truthfulness, its Arabic word is asidq. And generally, the habit of speaking the truth is called truthfulness. And in the Islamic terminology, uh, to narrate an event or matter without any change, addition or distortion is called truthfulness. That means narrating the fact exactly without any change is truthfulness. Now the, in, the person who maintain truth is called, maintain truthfulness is called Sadiq. And the extreme truthful person is called Siddiq. The opposite of Siddiq, that means truthfulness is falsehood. So, the word Siddh, its opposite will be al kisb the person who breaks, uh, the person who tells lies is called Kazib, and the extreme liar person is called Kazab. You will memorize these terms for your one mark question. Now, the importance of truthfulness as a moment, we have to maintain truthfulness. Points from this part importance first point all the nobian rasuls are maintained this good virtue truthfulness our prophet muhammad sallam was the al amin all the sahabis all the virtuous persons used to maintain this truthfulness even even we know the history or incident of abdul qadir zilani rahmatullah alaihi in this uh, perspect maintaining his truthfulness next point Truthfulness is the symbol of Mumin or Muslim because uh, if we want to be a Mumin, we have to maintain truthfulness and the person who will 
tell lie he will be a munafik so truthfulness is the symbol of mumin and munafik there is a proverb we know truthfulness liberates <coughs> and falsehood brings perdition so truthfulness uh, can liberate us from various types of <coughs> things the another hadith another point truthfulness leads the way to jannat in hadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says you be truthful as truthfulness shows the way to virtue and virtues shows the way to jannat even falsehood is considered as the root of all evils the opposite of truthfulness is falsehood falsehood is considered as the root of all evils and there is a hadith from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam about falsehood one day a sahabi came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and says o prophet muhammad sallam i commit many and many bad activities but how can i uh, save myself from all types of bad activities at a time then rasulullah sallam advised him to leave falsehood that person replied it's too much easy but after one year when he came he says oh prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when i started to leave my uh, leave uh, falsehood then all my bad activities started to leave me thus it is proved that falsehood is the root of all evils <clears throat> now the next question question 5 what is courtesy courtesy means to be polished to be nice befitting and to be gentle to be polite in nature in our behavior in our gesture in our all types of presentations this means to be polite gentle <coughs> courteous and modest in all perspect of our presentations will be count considered as courtesy obscenity is it is the opposite word of courtesy so as a mumin as a muslim we have to maintain courtesy always now the importance of courtesy <coughs> actually this courtesy will include maintaining porda or hijab by the mumin male or female both so if we maintain porda or hijab uh, it will it, it is one of the most important part of maintaining courtesy so if if we become modest or polite or decent in our dress up in our presentations in our talkings in our gestures in any parts of our presentations then each and everything will be considered as courtesy this courtesy is important in the life of a mumin or muslim even in a uh, it is said this courtesy is the foundation of the of the islamic society even prophet muhammad sallam says courtesy is a distinct portion of iman courtesy is a part of iman rasulullah says al hayau shawbatun min al iman <coughs> courtesy is the distinct portion of iman so if we want to be a mumin or muslim we have to maintain courtesy we have to be polite gentle civilized and polished in all uh, attempts of our activities in another hadith rasulullah says modesty is out and out a place that is modesty completely a place or virtuous activity so if we present <coughs> courteously ourselves it will be counted as bliss or as sob or as virtue for us now the next question explain amanat and its importance <coughs> amanat is an arabic word amanat means uh, to deposit a safe keeping uh, generally uh, amanat means deposit or safe keeping to deposit or uh, to keep something of value to someone as safety is called amanat to keep something of value to someone as safety is called amanat not only our asset is amanat our prestige our any our uh, honor our uh, life etc are also amanat to one another so we will al always become sincere about maintaining our amanats the importance of amanat you may write the points amanat uh, first point allah does not love the uh, kind person no, oh amanat uh, the person who maintain amanat is called amanatdar or amin the opposite word of amanat is khianat that means misappropriate or the person who breaks the amanat is called khain or grabber <coughs> now the importance of amanat uh first point amanat maintaining amanat is the symbol of mumin or muslim because if we maintain amanat uh, we will be the mumin otherwise it is the symbol of munafik to break the promise we know it and the next point <coughs> to be a 
perfect mu'min we have to be amanat rasulullah says la imana liman la amanat allah the person who, who does not maintain amanat he has no iman so to be a mu'min or muslim we have to maintain amanat we know our prophet muhammad sallallahu was the true amanat dar even during his leaving of mecca during his hijrah he left all the assets of amanat to hazrat ali radiyallahu ta'ala to distribute it it properly so it is the symbol of maintaining amanat by prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam another point you may write allah does not love the khain or the graver allah says inna allah la yuhibbul khainin surely allah does not love the grabbers and uh, so we will maintain amanat to maintain a perfect and a good life as a mumin or muslim all this akhlaqa hamida is important uh, for us as a mumin or muslim we will try to practice it inshallah Okay, dear students, that's all. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.